Hi guys, it's Adam here with Florida Man Adventures. It's early February. These kids' mom's out of town. We don't have any softball this weekend. Got a big cold front moving through. It's kind of warm right now though because we are about a day pre-cold front. Um, I'm sitting around just thinking, what can we do to make a cool video today? Well, we live in a neighborhood here in South Florida and we have tons of these little neighborhood ponds. Uh, you know, lots of structure, lily pads, lots of weed structure. I have three go-to lures to catch fish in these neighborhood ponds. The watermelon trick worm, the whopper plopper, and just a regular old chartreuse spinner bait. These three baits, $40 rod, you guys can have just as much fun as you want to have. Here we go, we're gonna give it a go with the with the spinner bait, the whopper plopper, and the trick worm, and uh, we'll see where it goes. You guys stay tuned, don't forget to hit subscribe. We appreciate you watching. Hopefully get to show you guys some bass here soon, but even if not, I get to show you these goons here walking around these neighborhood ponds trying to catch a bass. That's the most important part, being out in the wild with your kids, getting these kids out from in front of a TV screen. You know, every fisherman kind of has their go-to knot. I don't even know what this knot is called. It's a variation of the fisherman's knot, but I, I double the line up quite like so. So I'll just, I'll double the line up, get myself a foot or so, and uh, obviously, Give it a little point there so we can go through the through the circle there and then honestly i just come up like that make a loop around my finger loop loop three times run it back through run it back through the loop that i just made tighten up the excess you're all good to go. Maybe even trim that up a little bit more. I ain't gonna get too particular with it. You got a double, double contact there and you're all set to go. This is the whopper plopper here. Guys, just to kind of show you what this whopper plopper does here, it's a, it's a, it's a real action packed bait, but it's super easy for these kids to work because all you have to do, just reel it in. This is what it looks like. Just gives it that really, really good action. And uh, I don't know, it's just easy for the kids. How many casts do you girls think it'll take to catch a fish? 10 or 11. 10 or 11, what do you think? Five. Five? I'm gonna give it three. <laughs> here, let's see what we can do here, buddy. I think this is gonna be it. This is a good cast. This is always a good spot whenever we're fishing during the summer a culvert that runs under the road and comes over here a lot of a lot of structure right along this bank catching those stripers out on Lake Manatee. First cast, I got a, got a bite. We didn't have a camera on. But here we are, fighting for our first bite. But look, during the summertime, specifically when those fish are really hitting the top water, there's this, there's this pipe system right here. If you guys can see it, the fish will lay up in there. You, when you drag a fluke across the top of that, middle of May through probably mid-August. Bad business. All right, 15 casts with the whopper plopper and this little go-to pond that I always have in my back pocket didn't produce nothing but the bite that wasn't on camera. We're gonna move on because in these neighborhood ponds, if you aren't getting a bite, there's so many of them, move along. Go to the next one. There's gotta be a fish biting somewhere and if it ain't here, move. The other bait that I like to use in these neighborhood ponds, keep it super simple, is just this watermelon red trick, trick worm. And it's just a, you know, offset shank hook. And what I, I, what I like to do with these trick worms is I actually come about halfway. I'll go all the way through the worm. 
poke it like that and then really offset that shank so even though with a trick worm you always get some action if you'll hook it about a third or you know about a third between a third and a half of the way down you'll get a lot more a lot more action out of that and tossing up into these small grass patches in these neighborhood ponds that's huge i mean you're going to get four or five little jigs on it there and that's going to be about all you get to cover so the more action you can get the merrier and when those little schooly bass which to be honest is mainly what's in these ponds when they come up and smash it it's usually right there in the middle or towards the end and you can catch them so that's kind of the second go-to bait that i use here in these little neighborhood ponds and the third bait that i always use in these neighborhood ponds and probably the easiest one of them all especially for kids just a chartreuse and wide or just a plain ride or just a chartreuse spinner bait super simple as we have cars speeding by same old we're trying to i'm making a youtube video you guys fish you guys fish you want to help me make this youtube video you want to make a video go get your poles i'm going to be over at that big pond over over there the big one right off the main drive that's where i'm going next One of the things about fishing in these ponds number one all these people are your neighbors number two you get a lot of kids you know driving the golf carts around and you know 14 50 year old 15 year old kids honestly <laughs> all they're doing is looking for mischief so any chance that you can take to keep these kids out of trouble keep them busy maybe even teach them something it's going to be better for you in the end because guys remember these kids, these young boys running around here, acting a fool. Yeah, we could get pissed off at them when they're ringing our doorbells and running, when they're riding up and down through the neighborhoods at nighttime, <laughs> blaring their music. Or you can take them under your wing, teach them the right thing to do. And then when you're dating, they're dating your daughters, you know, you got a better kid out there. Just a. Adam's pro tip of the day. We're gonna go move to another pond, see if we can't catch a fish. All right, so we've hopped over to another pond. I'm going with our number two bait of the day. What are you guys gonna go with? I think I might throw the swim jig. Okay, okay, what do you got? Um, popping frog. That's a go-to. You got a, you got any spook, is there a spooks in there? Uh, I don't think have a Oh yeah, we do. Yeah. Oh, you guys have done this before, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. what's your go-to? My go-to? I don't really know. Depends on the conditions, really, to be honest. Sunny, calm afternoon in February. Um, I mean, can't really go wrong with a worm. You throw it anywhere. Yeah. Yep. Any way, too. What color? Um, I, I like my black and blue. Okay. That gamut. Mm -hmm. Like I told you guys, the watermelon red trick worm is hard to beat, too. Yeah, that's another good one. Yeah. This is the best pond here. You guys think? I don't think so. Really? <laughs> you call big fish out of here? Yeah, a few. All right. Ten cast for ten cast. You guys ready? Yeah. What's your name? I'm Carson. Carson? And I'm Knox. Carson and Knox. We're going to have to hook these guys up with some shirts and hats. Let's see if we can catch a fish. I'm going to give it two casts here. I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to happen pretty quick. He just straight up broke me off. <laughs> that's what I get for fishing with freaking six pound tests. 
<sighs> and not adjusting my drag. What an idiot. What an idiot. Well, I guess the spinnerbait's out of the freaking option. Huh? Whopper popper it is. Man, that sucks. That was a big fish too. That was a really, really, really good fish. Hey, little boy. What do you think about this? <laughs> what are we trying to do? Yeah. Fish? Yeah. That's my boy right there. That's my boy. Here, come hold this camera, softball girl. Okay. Look at her. She's always wearing that home run shirt. Like she's proud of the home run she hit in the tournament. <laughs> you like hitting home run? Yes. Good. All right. Let's give the old Whopper Popper another try, bud. <laughs> Better stay in clear, I'm gonna hook you. hook one just holler and she'll run over there but hey hey the little boy go get him <laughs> well if mom watches these videos she's gonna be pissed at that <laughs> this is the pond that we caught that big gator <laughs> that we caught that big gator out of <laughs> that we had to kill the gator pull him up to the side and then hurry the heck up and get out of Dodge because that lady right there was pissed. I think there's a gator in here now. Right up there. You guys ever see big gators in these ponds? Yeah. Yeah. What are you throwing again? Just a hula uh, popper? Yeah. A frog, yeah. Lost my camera lady again. I'm gonna put this down and that will be the minute that we catch one. Struggling, struggling, struggling catching a fish today. What are we gonna do? Who's gonna be the first one to catch a fish? I'm gonna see if it's not me. Still me. So I told you guys, as soon as I turn the freaking camera off, first cast after, we catch a little schoolie. Yeah. Look at there. I haven't caught any big fish out of this pond. Really? Only little ones. I've yeah. caught some good ones out of here. Sweet. That'll do. That's what it's all about right there. Just a little schooly neighborhood bass. What do you do? What do you do? What's the long arm it and put it in front of your body? <laughs> yeah, make it look big, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's a 14 inch bass. That's all there is to it. When in the neighborhood ponds, release these fish. They ain't no good for eating anyway. Kleenex. If you guys remember that reel that I had that got all those views, it's that gator that we caught right out there. And the lady, I think in the house right there, was the one that was calling FWC on me. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's how bad. It's so funny. <laughs> we were we were cast standing for a bluegill yeah. for the river, and I think it's that same lady. She came out here, got on mad. She's like, can't cast net in this pond. <laughs> <laughs> she can look. Let's see if we can catch another one. Catch him and he got off. Bummer. Mr. Bad Fish. I guess the top water bite work right now. That's what it's looking like. Something about the contour of the water right here. There's always fish laid up in this little pocket. Oh, there's yeah. one. I got it. Ooh, ooh, that, that. Oh, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> nice. Heck yeah. Now we're just catching everything. <laughs> we're just catching every. How many species will we catch? Oh man, it got him in the mouth. Here, back up a little bit. Mouth and the back. Dude, he annihilated that. Sweet. Good hand sized bluegill. Ain't quite what we call a titty brim. A titty brim, you gotta put them up on your titty to get them all. Titty. <laughs> <laughs> and now we take an emergent break in the fishing action because my daughter has to pee. Right here at sundown. And the bite is the best. Gotta go pee, Dad. Gotta go pee. No problem. We will abort the fishing trip and go pee. Lord have mercy. Whew. Crisis averted. We have successfully peed, and now we're back to fishing. I'm not even going to go to the trick worm today. They're just hitting this whopper popper so good right now. I'm just going to keep throwing it and keep fishing. Look, look at this tree pounder this kid caught. Look, hey, right. look at that. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Sweet, go get you a water oh, bottle. Let's get fish to end this thing. This is my favorite pond here in the neighborhood. Just because it's easy to get to, the kids can kind of come. If their mom's here, I can just leave them all in the truck. Get this thing going. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can do his two hands because my oldest daughter is not one to be a camera lady today. That's okay though. She gets paid in Sonic anyway, so. Where's the fish? Where's fish. the fish? Where are, where are they? Fish. Fish? What do you think, Ashlyn? No. <laughs> hey, do you want me to cast and let you reel in? Yeah. Yeah? All right, come on, let's go. So the cool thing about these whopper poppers, I can cast them in, say, here kid, reel it in. And it's, there's no action to, ooh, there. Ooh, Ash, look at the gator over there. See the gator? Did you guys just hear her? Can we catch it? She thinks that we can catch any gator anytime. Oh, F Dub will be pissed about that though. Oh, August 15th, baby girl, August 15th. 192 days away. All right, baby, here, let me cast this out for you. All right, Daddy, don't let Ben and I fall in. <laughs> Ashlyn, that's your job because you only like you. Come on. Come on. Yeah, boy, you're my cat. All right, Ash, here you go, baby. Reel it in. When the, when the fish splashes at it. No. Yeah. All right. Now we get to mess with the gator. <laughs> <laughs> These kids, I swear, they're all mine. All right, check this out. It's a little baby gator here. Look at him. Oh, he just took off. There he is. You see the, see the reeds moving? He's swimming away. He's probably 18 inches big. I, I love I love these gators, man. What do you want to name them? They're so cool. We got name name the gator. Ben. Oh well. All right, guys. The mosquitoes came out. I promised these kids Sonic ice cream, so I think that it's time for us to make way to Sonic. So hey, thank you guys for playing along, watching the video in its entirety. You guys hop down hit that subscribe button turn on notifications as always i do appreciate you i think i'm gonna start doing more of these fun videos just fishing in neighborhood ponds and kind of showing you guys the ins and outs of what i do every single day so knocks right yeah hey man thanks for playing along thank you for inviting us we're gonna have to get these boys on a gator you guys want to go gator hunting yeah <laughs> We'll have to take them gator hunting next gator season. So like I said, you guys subscribe, turn on notifications. 
see you guys next time.